One warm up round. Make sure you're all warmed up and ready to go. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is um, back rows. And so how we're gonna do it, we're gonna have four exercises and we're gonna go for 30 seconds and then we're gonna take a 15, 12 to 15 second break in between. So the pace is a lot slower than yesterday, um, but we're adding the weight. So I want you to focus on your form, quality over quantity and throw out questions. And I've got the screen set up better now so I can see everyone at the same time. I didn't have that function that <laughs> worked out yesterday. Um, so hopefully I'll try and call out if I see anything that looks kind of crazy or wonky, but um, you guys ready? Yeah. Woohoo! Yep. All right, so yep. the first thing we're gonna do is back rows. Um, what you wanna do here is just mainly bending over, back is flat, stick your butt out, and you're gonna pull your elbows up towards the sky and your dumbbells come towards your armpits. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer now. And so we're gonna do three rounds, but we're gonna go through each exercise. So go ahead and start the back rows. Knees are loose, back is flat. Breathe out as you pull up with the dumbbells. And so after these, we'll go to the next exercise, but we'll do three rounds of four exercises. Up, up. There's a few East Coasters, but of the West Coasters, Probably got some breakfast done this morning. Okay, pause and rest. The next thing you're gonna do is a split squat with a shoulder press. So a split squat is like a lunge position. One foot in front of the other, coming down to a lunge position, and you're gonna add a shoulder press. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one. You're gonna go down and then press your shoulders, your press up over your head. Don't press your shoulders, press your hands. The weight's over your head as you come back up. Your feet don't move, and you breathe out as you come up. Exhale, inhale as you come back down. So what we're gonna do with this one is on the next, good, pause there, that's our rest. Switch your feet. This time with a split squat, you're gonna do it with a bicep curl. So you're gonna go down with the split squat, don't start yet, and when you come up is when you curl. Ready? and start. Down, curl. Down, curl. You want to make sure that you have a nice straight back. Don't let your body lean, your chest lean forward. Down, breathe out as you pull the curl up towards your, the dumbbell towards your shoulders. Five seconds. and rest. We're going to take those weights and go down to the ground for a plank, holding the weights, and all I want you to do is walk either forwards and backwards or side to side depending on how much room you have or where, where you have accessibility. So go ahead and start in a plank position. I'm going to keep my hips low, go a few steps forward, and then a few steps back while holding that weight. Forwards. <laughs> and back. Five seconds. And pause there. We're going to start back again from the top with the back rows. So hold on to those weights. You guys feel good? Pace okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, two seconds. And start back rows, leaning forwards and pull, pull. Breathe out as you pull the dumbbells up towards your chest. Knees are loose, back is flat. Engage the core, pull the belly button back towards your spine. Pull, pull. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two. One, rest, we're gonna go back to that split squat. If you can remember which leg you started with first, that was forward, do the opposite one forward so you're not always starting on the same leg. Keep resting. This one's gonna have the shoulder press with it. And start, coming down and press. Down, press. Try and aim 
that back knee towards the ground. It doesn't have to touch. If it does touch, that's fine, but don't feel like you have to. Here we go. Breathe out. As you press up over your head. Nice job, everyone. Four seconds. And rest. Okay, let's do the other foot forward now. Switch your feet out. Other foot back, and this one is with a bicep curl. Try to keep your back heel off the ground the whole time if you can, and start. Coming down, curl. Good. Nice job, everyone. Good. You can twist your dumbbells as you go down and up. So you kind of, I kind of lead with my thumbs and then pull my pinky in towards my shoulder at the top. And rest. We're going down to those plank walks now. Down to the ground. work. Three seconds and start. Walking forwards, walking back, up down the room or side to side. Trying to keep the hips nice and low. Twelve seconds to go. wobblies now. Eight seconds. Keeping your shoulders back. Don't let your front, your body lean forward. Rest. Plank walks. Really challenge yourself with your hips and start. Making sure they don't go too far side to side. Next thing we're going to do 
There are some single sided exercises. So we're going to do a squat row press that's going to be with one arm. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do one on each side. And then the next thing we'll do is a uh, single leg deadlifts. So I'll just walk you through real quick before we start with the form on this one. So you're only going to need one dumbbell for this. Spread your legs wider than shoulder width apart. Chest stays forward as you squat. You're going to aim the dumbbell towards the center ground. You don't have to touch the ground, but that's kind of your aiming point. So you're going to squat down. And as you pull, you're going to row for a high elbow and then turn and press. So it's a little bit like a snatch with that arm. Squat, row, press. Back down and you keep the dumbbell close to your body as you pull it up and back down. Okay? Are you guys got it? I think you've all done these before. So no excuses, right? <laughs> all right, so let's start. Go ahead and get started. I'm going to stay on one, one side for the 30 seconds, take a 15 second break, and then we're going to go to the other side. If you're breathing, you want to breathe out as you press up towards the sky. So whenever you press something up over your body, away from you, you want to exhale. Breathe out, and then take the inhale as you come back down. And rest. Now finally. Finally warm enough. <laughs> okay, five, three seconds. We're gonna do the other arm and start. Press. 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 Woohoo! It's Friday fun day. Hope you guys have some fun plans <laughs> for staying inside the house. <laughs> or maybe something outdoors. Or maybe this. <laughs> this could be part of it. As you press up, press through your heels and squeeze your glutes. Squeeze as you press. And rest. The next thing is our single leg deadlift. So you're going to stay same hand as the leg that stays on the ground. And you're going to follow that dumb follow your leg down with your dumbbell. So we're going to start now and you're going to lean forward. Keep the back nice and flat. Come back up to center. Follow the leg down with the dumbbell. If for any reason a single leg is too, too much challenge for balance, you can either take the weight away, or we can do you can do two feet on the ground. Good. Ma most important part of your back stays flat. My left leg is down, so I'm going to squeeze my left glute when I stand. Rest. Take a rest. And we'll do the other side once in about 10 more seconds. So you want to hinge only at the hips. That's the part of your body that's bending. Your leg that's on the ground is loose, so the knee's not tight. And start. Locked. That's a better word than tight. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and start on this side, your opposite side. You need to work on the opposite side. <laughs> One side might be harder than the other. <laughs> And now I fall over when I look at you guys. <laughs> I blame you. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> kind of make sure, imagine, good rest. On your I'm next set of those. Getting it. <laughs> just when you get it, yeah. So we're going to go back to the squat row press. Start with your opposite arm that you started with last time. So last time I started on my right, this time I'm going to start on my left. Ready? And start. So you're going to squat row press. Good. Squeeze the glutes together as you come up, sort of like you do with the kettlebell swing. You squeeze it up so that you can pop the arm. Pop. So the arm doesn't actually do a ton of work on this one. It's more of coming from the momentum of the legs. It definitely does some work, but... Hey, I see someone behind you there. Dad? Yep. Nice. Mom finished her yoga. Okay, rest. We're going to switch sides. Not, don't start yet. Five seconds. Two, one, and start. Coming down, row press. 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 Good. 
nice work. Pop it up. Ten seconds. Squeeze those glutes, press your heels into the ground. Pop the hips up. Two seconds. And rest. We're going to go back to those deadlifts. Starting with your opposite leg, if you can remember which one that was. Think about your toe, your toes in the um, in your shoes if you're wearing shoes. Try and press. We're going to start now. Press your big toe down towards the ground. Try and keep the contact with your big toe to the ground. Good. Straight back. Control and rest. I'm going to go to the other side. Good. Five seconds of rest. You guys feeling good? Yep. Okay, ready? Let's start. Coming down and back up. Squeeze the glutes. Or just that one side glute. So I'm on my left foot is down, so I'm squeezing my left glute as I stand. Making sure the big toe is in line. Try and omit too much of the wobbly. Some of the wobblies is good, but just make sure your knee is not going too much side to side. And rest. Nice job. We got one more round. Starting in with that split. Sorry, the uh, squat row press. Five seconds. All right. And start. Press. Squat and press. Good. Press. Nice job. <laughs> Make sure you lead with your elbow on the way up. So elbow up and switch it around to a press. Five seconds. Up. Up. And rest. 15 seconds before we go to the next side. Diane, you using kettlebells or dumbbells there? Oh, dumbbells. Dumbbells. <laughs> it's hard to see when everyone's got a little picture. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're so small. You're so little and dark. <laughs> and start. Down. I know, I think I had more sunlight in the garage at noon yesterday. <laughs> you know, we have studio lighting here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. This is highly professional. <laughs> Great job, 10 seconds. Down, press, pop it up, three seconds, get one more in. And rest, we're gonna go back to those dead, single leg deadlifts. Is mom doing them too? Yep. Nice. All right, ready? And start. Single leg deadlift, follow the leg down, and pull up, follow the leg down, up, down, up. Watch your hips on this one. You don't want to let your hips open up too much to the side. I'll show you what I mean if your hips kind of open to the side. Try and keep them square to the ground. So you go down, and up. Switch, uh, take a break before we switch sides. Keep the hips closed so that you open up, you don't open up, you can open them up for other exercises. For this one, don't feel like it's a major, major thing, but it just kind of helps you to control it with your, with your core. Ready? And start. Going down and back up. Down. Challenge yourself by trying to keep your loose leg, the one that's not on the ground, keep it off even when you stand up straight, if you can. If you need to put it down, that's fine. But just if you need an extra challenge. All right, rest there. We're gonna move on to our next sets. They're gonna include a side plank hip lift, as well as a 
plank, single arm, tricep extension. So these are going to be single leg, single sided exercises as well. So we'll do four rounds, one, one side, then the other side, and then we'll go to the next exercise. If you need a pad or elbow for your arms, if you're on a hard surface, grab that now. Um, if not, we'll get started. Let me use this. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'll just show you before we get started, is you're going to go to a side plank. So you can stagger your feet like this if you want to. You can stack them on top. If you need a really good challenge, you can bring your feet apart from each other. If you need a lower intensity challenge, put your knee down underneath there. With the weight, you're going to add the weight to your hips, and you're going to go down, up in that direction. If the weight's too much, you can take it away. All right, you ready? And begin. So bringing those hips down, up, down, up. Another option here is just to simply hold the side plank with the weight on your hips. Do what works best for you. Form is key, quality over quantity on this one. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two and one. Okay, so let's switch to the other side. Other opposite leg, elbow down. And oh, go. Don't don't hit your hip like I just did <laughs> with your dumbbell. It kind of hurts. Up. Your shoulder, your elbow should be directly underneath your shoulder. Again, breathe out as you push up away from the ground. Breathe back in when you come back down. Ten seconds. You got this. Strong abs, strong core. Three seconds. And rest. Okay, the next one, you're only going to need one dumbbell for this one as well. But we're going to do a plank position. So hands down on the ground. And all I want you to do is a tricep extension like this. That's the motion. Ready? And start. For a lower intensity option, you can keep your knee down. One knee down and extend this way. For higher intensity, keep both feet off the ground for more core work. 15 more seconds on this side. Eight seconds. And rest. Okay, we're gonna switch arms, so same position with your, with your body. Just opposite side. Opposite knee down if you put a knee down. No shame in putting a knee down if you have to. It's about getting the work done, making a good form. And start. Tuck your elbow, keep it right next to your side, next to your ribs. So your elbow doesn't change position. The only thing moving is your dumbbell and your hands and your forearm. Everything above that is stationary. Well, that's the goal at least. <laughs> 10 seconds. Nice job. Let's go. 
go back to those planks with the tricep extension. So one hand on the ground, the other one has the dumbbell. Tuck your elbow up next to your ribs. Ready? And start. And extend. Breathe out as you press the dumbbell away from your head. I think I'm going to need a second breakfast after this. <laughs> 12 seconds. Five seconds. And rest. Good. Switch in size. Just press for now. Don't start. Got a button I got to push. All right. Doing good, guys. Ready? And start. Opposite side, tuck that elbow in, lock it in next to your ribs. You guys feel this more in your arm or your core? Or both? Arm. Or. <laughs> yes. Did you say yes? <laughs> Six seconds. And rest. Nice work, guys. All right. One more round to go. And then that'll be it. That'll be our 30 minutes up. You guys are rocking it. You're doing great. The East Coasters can have lunch after this. So let's go ahead and start. Hopefully you didn't have lunch right before this. Oh. <laughs> Going up and down with those hips. Oh, do we start? Sorry, sorry, yes, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Get some extra ones in if you started late. Switch sides. It's allergy season. Nose will stop running. Ready? And start. Opposite side now. This is the last round of each exercise, so make it count. Make it work. Everyone's doing great. Pushing through the whole workout. Staying strong. Ten seconds to go. week so just stay tuned and enjoy okay. the outdoors if you can this weekend and thanks everyone
Okay. Bye. Thank have you. a great afternoon and weekend. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye.